You know what? Grace and defeat, and I guess you would call that a defeat. No. Congrats. Congratulations. You'll make a great queen. Thank you. Wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. So, any plans? What's the new Queen of Skellica planning? Um, to listen, learn, and listen again. Then we'll see. Sounds like a good place to start. <laughs> we must unite the clans. I'd rather avoid war, but if Nilfgaard aims to attack, we must repel them together. Drummond folk might be a problem. I saw Lugos during the ceremony. Furious, to say the least. There's always been strife between our clans. But I must try and talk to him. Just might bring him around. If you ever need help with anything, you know where to ask. Keep my fingers crossed. Farewell. You alright? So-so. Anywhere you cut it, I was bested by a wench. Not just any wench. Aye, true. Suppose if it had to be so, I'm glad it was Ceres. Also, you look like somebody used your face for a chopping board. Ain't you proud of her? Not even a little proud of her? Come on, admit it. I bet I. She's the blood of me blood, bone of me bone. But don't tell her I said so. Liable to puff out her chest. But you do her good now I think of it. <laughs> we showed Lugos. That's most important. Did you see that rage grip him? I thought he'd burst. I yeah. agree. Surprised to see him in that much of a half, actually. Our clans have been button heads, chests, bellies forever. It's the lay of the land. Uh, well, I'll see you around. Take care, Yalmar. Do that. Clan Brockworth Wills and Spickrook Geralt took on a certain risk of contract. Kevin the men offering the bounty claim the missing man had developed cold fever fled from his betrothed. The woman herself, Brayden's sister, long been snatched away by a mind stop. Well, would love to stay and chit chat, but uh, no time like the presents. And I can easily return for that other guy when need be, so let's see, where do I need to go? Oh, all the way over here. Got a bit confused there for a second. See you not from round here. What's brought ye to speak, Arog? I'm a witcher here to do the witching. Heard you've got a job for a witcher. Aye. My sister's near drilled a hole in me, got pestering me. I hung the notice, hoping she'd let up. Truth be told, didn't really expect anyone to take an interest. What's this about? My sister's betrothed. He's disappeared. Folks say he done a runner. Sis claims she saw a beast carry him off. And you don't sound like you believe it. Sensing you just don't believe your sister. 
They had their ups, they had their downs. Neil's thoroughbred skirt chaser, and Brit's just not easy to be around. But family's sacred. You willing to look into this? Well, I... Yeah, that's why I'm here. I'll see what I can do. I want to talk to your sister <clears throat> first off. Brit and Nils had their favorite spot. Cliffs north of the village. Ever since he went missing, she's been wandering about there. Thanks. I'll go see her. Oh, that reminds me. I should probably do the alchemy thing now. Since I wanted the elemental oil. Albedo. I mean, there's no reason to really take the long way around. Not afraid of water. Occasionally afraid of what's in it. And of the water itself. So, um, hello? Need to talk to you. <laughs> Leave me be! Did you see Nils die? I saw a shadow, great wings, like a cloud passing over the sky. Then I heard him scream. Something grabbed him, lifted him up, then flew off towards the caves on the shore. But he was alive, screaming my name. I'll look into it. Gotta explore those caves Britt mentioned. Seems like a logical step. Is something on the way, you know, we really should explore that. I mean, we might as well now that we're in the area. Oh, sorry. But well, hopefully, I'll have to rescue somebody and not recover our corpse. It's a little bit too tangled to be running around for all proper like. Um, there we go. A bit more open, not always running into folk. It's nice for everybody involved. One thing. Uh. Yeah, here's how it's done. Okay, now the problem here is this hairs are clearly fucking the model. Like, I think this might be the god of hairs in disguise. And I think if we offend it any further, it'll bring calamity upon us. Like this thing is clearly the primordial template upon which all other hairs have are based. The Ur hair. So I'll just go away before we trigger the hair apocalypse. So long and good luck ripping out its liver. Yeah, I think 
what we'll want to look at is up there. Hello! Can I introduce you to some fine new shoes? Wow! I caught him with my telekinesis! didn't notice. That was funny. Not quite full Rodal level, but still funny. Sitting around with a dead guy. I don't know if I'm not any bit weird, like it's just like a dead guy here. Yeah. With an axe head, apparently. Well, less bandits. Okay. Faster. Let's just go. Sure, will be fine. And hey, we found another marker, so that'll make things more easy for us in the future. If we ever go back here. Oh, that's... that's a beautiful view. Forest is a little bit dead around here, but all the same, that's a beautiful view. Gorgeous. Especially with the sun at this time. Perfect. You know, when the sun hits it just right, it's like the area sinks. Oh, perhaps. Ah, stinks of carrion. Necrophages. couldn't possibly lift nails into the air. Siren tracks. A very big siren. What do sirens not like? Grape shot, hybrid oil, ig... Okay. Albedo, that's something I'm apparently missing right now. The grape shot. Can I upgrade the grape shot bombs? Let me check. Enhanced grape shot. That I can. Superior grape shot. Now! Now we're gonna bomb somebody! 